tonight's uh, Wendy's Walleye Player of the Game, brought to you by Wendy's, would have to be Terry Broadhurst uh, picking up the goal uh, in overtime with just 35 and a half seconds remaining. His goal winning it tonight uh, for the Orland Park, Illinois native. Of course, in the uh, NCAA, big numbers uh, for him with Nebraska Omaha. And he is standing by down outside the locker room with our Rob Wersinski. Rob? Goal as a professional, uh, Terry, uh, in overtime, picked a good, good spot here to get your first as a professional. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's always nice to get the first one, but when it's in overtime and it's a game winner, it uh, makes it a little more special. So it's a good feeling, definitely. Describe that moment. Um, you know, I had quite a few chances uh, throughout the game, and uh, their defense were giving me uh, time and space to use my speed. So I kind of saw a lane opening up and just wanted to hit it with speed and got a shot off and a squeak through one in. Not pretty, but you know what? It counts as one. Yeah, exactly. It, it doesn't say how it looks on the uh, on the stat sheets, though. It's good. Yeah. Talk about uh, talk about the play as far as beforehand. I know there was some some good uh, some neutral zone battles there, and, and, and Cincinnati really looked like uh, they were on the attack in overtime. But uh, that shift there really turned it around. Yeah, definitely. You know, um, that first few minutes uh, they were kind of taken to us, but we did a good job surviving. We kept them to the outside. Um, you know, they did have control of the puck and were making passes, but they didn't have any very good quality scoring chances. So. Credit to our guys who started it. Um, they held on tight and uh, gave us a chance to win it uh, later in the game. So, you know, a, a play like that in a neutral zone, kind of just have to read it and uh, take a little bit of a chance, and that's what happened, and we uh, benefited from it. Two games in, talk about the uh, experience with the walleye. What kind of team you got here? Uh, it's great. The city's been good. Obviously, the facility's top-notch. Uh, nicest or one of the nicer ones in the league, definitely. And uh, the guys in the room have been great. The older guys, especially with us younger guys, uh, coming down have helped us out a lot, just kind of, uh, you know, telling us where we need to be, what to do, that type of stuff. So it's been good. Yeah, that transition to pro hockey, I mean, talk about having guys like, uh, you know, Randy Rowe out there that's been through the wars to kind of help you out. Yeah, you know, he doesn't have to say much, just his play and the small things he does on the ice, you know, just when he wins battles in the neutral zone, the defensive zone, gets pucks out, you know, when you see a guy doing that, like that doing it, you know, you better do it yourself. And kind of sort of like, uh, you know, the, the, the offensive stats, uh, you know, are, are nice, but that that work in the new defensive zone gets you the win, too. Exactly, definitely. And then those are the things that count most that uh, probably don't get much recognition, but it's got to be done. All right, Terry Broadhurst, hey, congratulations. Thank you.